Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our GA4 series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about demographic reports in Google Analytics 4. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's get to know what is demographic reports, you know. So you can see over here, the demographic details report provides key characteristics about the people who use a website or app, including a user's language, interest, location, age, and gender. So let's go to the Google Analytics 4 dashboard and see how we can analyze data from GA4 dashboard, you know. So you can see over here, I'm one of the GA4 properties of mine. So if I go to the user attribute sections, so we have two options available here, like overview and demographic details. So if I click on overview, then you can see users by country. So I'm seeing the data for last 90 days. If you want, you can customize the difference. Like if you want to see the data for last seven days or last 28 days or last 30 days or last 90 days, or you can customize uh for last 12 months you know so you can uh customize those date range as per your requirements you know so you can see uh puerto rico has got the most amount of users for this uh gfr properties or for this website specifically you know so yeah it has got 569 users in last 90 days. The next one is United States. So USA got 467 users. Colombia has got 49 users. Peru has got 39, 33 users. Spain has got 30 users. Uh, Mexico has got 28 users and Argentina has got 26 users. So if I click on view countries, then we can see the all country wise data, you know. So you can see over here, we are seeing the 10 countries data. So if I uh, customize this option, so I'm going to make it uh, 100, okay, for the time being. So let's see. So we can see the 49 countries data, you know, and how many users we have got from those specific country and in between them, how many new users we have got, what is their engage session, what is their engagement rate, engage session per users, you know. So if I scroll right a little bit, then you can see uh, their event count, conversions, total revenue. So all the metrics are available here, okay. So I'll go to the overview section again. Then you can see user in last 30 minutes so i'm from bangladesh so i have visited this site okay so it has created a session so that's why it is showing last 30 minutes one user you know and you can see over here users by city so you can see the data uh, by city wise you know so san juan has got 380 users uh Carolina has got 21 users, you know, Bogota has got 18 users, Orlando has got 18 users. So you can uh, click on view cities options, then you will see the data uh, for all the cities, you know, so you can see over here. So you can customize uh, this row, like if you want to see the data uh, for 50 countries, then you can do it from here. So you can see. 50 countries available here. So I'll go to the overview section again. And if I go to the gender section, then we can see the gender wise data, you know, 73.4% is female and 26.6% is male. So if I go to the site, you can see this is basically a shop for women like, uh, this is basically a shops uh, store. So they basically sell shops. So, you know, women sell the most amount of shops and uh, cosmetic accessories. That's why the most users are female, you know, and you can see the interest uh, wise data, uh, news and 
this technology, media, food. So we can see the data uh, by interest category as well from this section. So if you click on view interest, then you will see the data for all interest voice, you know. And you can see over here, we can see the data uh, according to our age range, like 35 to 40, uh, 35 to 44, uh, age range has got the most amount of users. The next one is 45 to uh, 54, then 25 to 34. So you can get the holistic reports of demographic section, you know, from this section. So what you can do, if you want to run a PPC campaign, like if you want to run Google ads or Facebook ads, then you can uh, sort the demographics from here, like uh, Puerto Rico and United States has got the most amount of users. So you can target those specific countries. Like if you want to run a Facebook ads, then you can target those two countries, you know, and you can target them you can filter them according to their cities yeah, like if you can target this city this city and this city so it is uh it becomes really helpful for advertisers or for uh for uh for you uh to run facebook ads or google ads this is called data driven marketing that's why i told you to set up all the tracking first then go for advertising so if you set up google analytics for first then go for the advertising then you can target those specific countries or you can target uh, those campaigns according to specific cities from this section because you can see the data this city is performing well so you can only uh, run ads for this specific city and you can only target for female because most of the users are female so uh, yeah, you can filter those options and if you want to run Google or Facebook ads or any other PPC advertising, so you can filter those data and target a specific audience, you know. So if I go to the users by language section, so you can also filter uh, the campaigns according to language, you know. So you can see English and Spanish has got the most amount of users. So you can target English as and Spanish in your campaign, you know. So you don't need to target all the audience. You can filter those audience and uh, create some audience and target them in your campaign. This is called data-driven marketing. Hopefully you have understood. So if I go to the demographic detail section, just wait a little bit. Then you can see over here, by default, it is... Uh, showing the country wise data so if you want you can customize it like you can see the data yeah according to city language age gender interest so you can customize those options according to your requirements so uh, this city uh, this country has got this amount of users and this amount of new users and their engaged session you know so if you don't know what is engaged session, so you can hover over it. You can see over here, the number of sessions that lasted longer than 10 seconds or had a conversion event or had two or more skins or page view, you, can, you know, then engagement rate. So if I scroll right a little bit, then you can see over here, uh, the event count, all events. So if I sort it using conversions, so I'm gonna choose purchase from here so you can see, Puerto Rico has, uh, this country has got the most amount of purses. So in your campaign, you can only target Puerto Rico, you know. Then the total revenue is 3.7K and in between them, Puerto Rico has got 3.1K total revenue. So you can specifically target this country, you know. So yeah, it, it becomes... Uh, really easy for us to take a decision and we can uh, analyze those data and use those insights in our EPC campaign, you know, so hopefully you have understood all those things, you know, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. Yeah, you have a good day. Bye-bye.